To start out with our journey to this hostile world, we start out with the Baron Shuttle and the Energia Launch Vehicle. Originally designed after the American Space Shuttle, Gleb Lazino Lazinski wanted the Baron to stand out from its American counterpart. Holding a crew of three, the Baron has a small transfer stage inside the shuttle bay, acting as the return vessel for the crew when finished with their stay in Venus orbit. He had designed the Energia to launch large interplanetary vessels, and the shuttle Baron has an interplanetary atmospheric study vessel that could be remotely controlled to suicide dive into a planet's atmosphere. By this 1990 Venus mission, a part of the International Apollo missions to the inner planets, this craft was comprised of a Ukrainian launch and interplanetary vehicle, an American return vessel and re-entry capsule, and 20 mini CubeSats from universities across the globe. Hitting the atmosphere, the space plane is expected to fly 50 kilometers for as long as possible before it ran out of fuel or ran out of electric charge in the avionics hub. Though it hasn't gone as planned, it was still proclaimed as a massive success across all contributors for giving massive amount of data and human presence in Venus SOI. Bro, uh, you see that uh, little glowing light right there, over by uh, Olympus Mons? Think it's a sun glare? Pretty unlikely at this altitude. Oh wow. BBS, aim some scanners over by Olympus Mons. <laughs> 